For those of you who have listened to me present on electrical topics, you know that I talk a lot about isoground. This is a demonstration on what isoground does. We have an evoke potential machine that has isoground. It is not earth ground. And here is this electrode position, not attached yet. We have a recording strip of biogel, roughly the conductivity of many of our body's tissues, and, a record, and, and two recording electrodes, anode and cathode. My skin is a huge noise source um, because it can hold a charge and it's getting noise coming in from all of the, the stuff in this kitchen. If I touch in the middle, I'm equidistant between the anode and the cathode and the amplifiers amplify the distance, the, the difference. So it's zero. The closer that I get to one or the other of the poles, the larger the noise signal amplified. If I touch both, I am back to uh, being kind of in the middle, cancels. Lift, large noise, cancel. Lift, large noise. Let's leave it on large noise. So what about the isoground? If I take the isoground, which is tying the inside metal parts of that amplifier to the noise source, you can see I can almost cancel out the noise source. And this is important. If I take the ISO ground and put it in the wrong place, such as where the noise source is not or near the other recording electrode, I actually amplified the noise, as you can see. So it's very important for us to understand what this ISO ground position does. It can be wonderful in decreasing noise. It can also be bad in amplifying noise. It's a complex topic. If you have any questions, feel free to email me or just give me a call, and I'll be glad to talk with you.